last season, Christian Pulisic only scored a single goal for Chelsea. How can somebody be the best player on their national team, but struggle so badly for their club? With Chelsea taking a huge loss to transfer him away, here is the curious case of Christian Pulisic. His successes, failures, and what the future may hold for him. Christian Pulisic is a 24-year-old American winger that has exceptional pace, a beautiful first touch, and elite finishing. He is rapid, smart, and a passionate player. And although he is a hero to his nation, sadly Christian Pulisic is considered a bust by many in the Premier League, having spent several underwhelming seasons there. Chelsea just had their worst season since 1994, and sadly the best American player was not able to help out. But how in the world did this get so bad? Christian Mate Pulisic was born on September 18, 1998, in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Mark and Kelly Pulisic, his parents, were both footballers in their own right, both having played for George Mason University and his father was even a professional indoor soccer player. Christian's family would move to England in 2005 for work-related reasons. You call that a tower? Try the Sears Tower, friend. But it was there where Christian's true love for the sport would be birthed. Christian would join the academy at Brackley Town, showing early signs of brilliance. The Pulisic family would eventually move back to the United States, making a quick pit stop in Michigan where he would play for the Michigan Rush before finally returning to Hershey, Pennsylvania. From 2008 to 2015, Pulisic would develop his game with the PA Classics, a local U.S. soccer development academy. As a teenager, Pulisic represented the U.S. at the U15 and U17 levels, where he had several great performances. Most notably in matches against Brazil and England, where he would catch the eye of Borussia Dortmund scouts and Jurgen Klinsmann, the U.S. men's national team coach at the time. Christian Pulisic was clearly becoming one of the biggest prospects in the entire world. Christian Pulisic would join Dortmund at just 16 years old, and he would rise through the ranks. He would eventually earn his Bundesliga start for the German Giants against Bayer Leverkusen on February 21, 2016. The following month, in March 2016, Christian would make his national team debut, coming on as a substitute against Guatemala. This would make him the youngest American to ever play in a World Cup qualifier. A few weeks later, Christian would score his first ever Bundesliga goal against Hamburg, the youngest ever non-German to score in the Bundesliga, at just 17 years and 212 days old. Pulisic would spend the next three seasons becoming a starter at Dortmund and the US men's national team, proving his status as a rising star. Pulisic and Dortmund would win the DFB Pokal in 2016-17. He would also become the youngest player to play for Dortmund in the Champions League. And just a few months later, the American winger would score his first Champions League goal for Dortmund against Benfica, becoming Dortmund's youngest ever Champions League goal scorer. On October 10th, 2017, Pulisic would represent the United States in the infamous loss to Trinidad and Tobago disqualifying the United States from the 2018 World Cup despite a goal from the young American. This moment would be seared into the brain of Pulisic as it would light a fire in his heart and make him the leader of America's new golden generation. Christian Pulisic would catch the eyes of big clubs from all across the world. In need of an up-and-coming winger with great vision and playmaking, the ability to score remarkable goals, and a quick yet talented dribbler to lead the counterattack. Pulisic would eventually leave Dortmund after 19 goals, 26 assists, and 127 appearances as only a teenager. The club that would eventually sign Pulisic would be London Giants Chelsea, offering Borussia Dortmund a 58 million euro transfer fee for the American winger. Although many were skeptical, the Blues were confident that they had found their wonder boy, bringing him in to hopefully replace club legend Eden Hazard. Pulisic would finish his season at Dortmund on loan and would finally debut for Chelsea on August 11th, 2019 in a humbling defeat against Man United. Pulisic would start his time at Chelsea off slowly, failing to score in the first few weeks. But in October, Chelsea fans would finally get to see what they pay for when Christian would score a perfect hat-trick against Burnley in a 4-2 win. This would make Christian Pulisic the youngest Chelsea player to ever score a hat-trick in the Premier League and only the second American to ever pull it off alongside Clint Dempsey. You don't know where I'm from, dawg. The scoring would continue for Pulisic as he played a beautiful brand of football. Christian would also score one of the two goals for Chelsea against Manchester City, eventually eliminating them from contention and giving the Premier League title to Liverpool. 
Pulisic would also become the first American to ever score in an FA Cup final. Scoring after 5 minutes, unfortunately Christian would sustain a hamstring injury that would keep him out for the rest of the season and Chelsea would go on to lose that match. This would be the first out of several injuries Christian would endure at Chelsea, as it seemed like the American could just not stay healthy. Thankfully, the 22-year-old had great performances in the Champions League, assisting and scoring on Chelsea's way to conquering Europe. The following season, Christian would slowly decline. With the addition of more and more players, Chelsea were growing impatient with Pulisic. Around this time, owner Roman Abramovich was also forced to sell the club because of sanctions against Russian oligarchs. The club would eventually be sold to Todd Bowley, who would perfectly demonstrate how to not run a football club. Buying and selling many new assets very questionably, in the last season alone, Chelsea has gone through three different managers. With players and managers coming in and out like a revolving door, what little team chemistry Chelsea had was completely out the window, as everybody feared their position and their job would not be there the next day. The squad was simply too large, even at times overflowing and making players change in the hall. Between a decreased output, less playing time, injuries, and unrest at the club, it became incredibly obvious that Christian Pulisic was no longer a part of Chelsea's vision for the future. For the US men's national team, Christian Pulisic is a guaranteed star and he is given the support and the trust he needs to flourish, but sadly at Chelsea, him and many others were put under very harsh criticism, not being given the opportunities to get through dry spells or even improve team chemistry. On the international stage, Christian has truly become a hero, leading the United States to win the 2021 Nations League, scoring the game-winning penalty, and leading the American Golden Generation to the World Cup, where they put on a very respectable performance, where Christian would literally put his life on the line to score against Tehran, and lead America to the round of 16, where they would be knocked out by the Netherlands. But afterward, the United States and Christian Pulisic would bounce back, having an amazing performance against Mexico in the Nations League, where he would score a brace, pushing the United States into the final where they would eventually beat Canada and defend their nation's league title. During the transfer window, everyone knew that Christian had to leave Chelsea and earn his playing time elsewhere. AC Milan would pay 20 million euros for the American winger. With less hype, a new league, and something to prove, could the move to AC Milan be exactly what he needs? With Rafael Leal, a world-class left winger already playing in Pulisic's preferred position, he will most likely be playing on the right wing. With AC Milan going through several changes and not a great time of their own, will Christian Pulisic be able to play his best, or will we see Chelsea 2.0 happen all over again? If given the opportunities and the trust he needs, I don't see a reason as to why Christian Pulisic can't be a major part of AC Milan's future. Comment down below and let me know if you guys think he will succeed at AC Milan. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and like and subscribe. More awesome content being released every week. And until next time, later.